How safe is the food that, that we eat every day? It's a question we often overlook, but one that holds immense significance. Each morsel we consume is a cocktail of ingredients, some natural, others not so much. It's crucial to understand what we're feeding our bodies. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the world of food safety focusing particularly on the substances that find their way into our everyday meals. This exploration takes us to the heart of a recent, rather unnerving revelation. And this leads us to a startling study by the Environmental Working Group. The Environmental Working Group conducted a study that unveiled some disturbing results. The investigation delved deeper into a chemical known as chlormaquat, a substance typically found in oat-based foods such as Cheerios and Quaker Oats. This particular chemical is often used um, in the field of agriculture, especially to avoid plant bending and to make harvesting more manageable. However, it's not the agricultural benefits that are being questioned here. The study discovered that a startling 80% of Americans tested positive for this chemical. This situation goes beyond the simple phrase, you are what you eat. The implications of these discoveries are considerably more unsettling. Chlormaquat has been associated with several potential health risks, such as reduced fertility, altered fetal growth, and delayed puberty. Let's put this into perspective. A chemical used to simplify farming could be affecting our fundamental biological functions. This is a genuinely petrifying thought. The story doesn't conclude here. The study also unveiled a concerning trend. From 2017 to 2023, the levels of chlormaquat in biological samples have been on a steady incline. This suggests an increasing exposure of consumers to this potentially dangerous chemical. And it's not a negligible increase. We're observing a consistent, worrying trend of an increasing number of people being exposed to this potential health hazard. Even more intriguing is the fact that the producers of Cheerios and Quaker Oats, General Mills and PepsiCo, have not responded to these findings. Their silence is deafening and it puts a question mark on the safety of some of our most frequently consumed food products. This study has highlighted serious concerns about the safety of some of our most common food products. So what does this mean for us, you may ask? Well, the implications of this study are far-reaching and concerning. The most alarming part is the silence from the key players, General Mills and PepsiCo, the makers of Cheerios and Quaker Oats, respectively. Despite the damning evidence presented, these companies have chosen not to comment on the findings. On another front, the Environmental Working Group is vehemently opposing a proposal by the Environmental Protection Agency. This proposal, if approved, would allow the use of chlormaquat on certain grains in the United States. The EWG's opposition is anchored on the potential health risks posed by this chemical. Chlormaquat, as we've learned, is linked to reduced fertility, altered fetal growth and delayed puberty. It's increasing presence in our food as indicated by the rising levels in urine samples from 2017 to 2023 is a cause for concern. Given these daunting facts, the EWG's recommendation is clear cut. Uh, to avoid exposure to, to chlormaquat, uh, we should opt for organic oat products. 
Um, this shift in our shopping habits could be the first step towards a healthier Chlormaquat uh, free future. The EWG recommends opting for organic oat products to avoid exposure to Chlormaquat. In summary, it is crucial that we pay attention to what we consume. We've delved into the unsettling truth about the presence of Chlormaquat, a potentially harmful chemical, in popular oat-based foods. This includes household favorites like Cheerios and Quaker Oats. Um, the Environmental Working Group study has shown that a staggering 80% of Americans have tested positive for this chemical, a statistic that should give us pause. Let's not forget the implications. Chlormaquat is linked to reduced fertility, altered fetal growth, and delayed puberty. The levels of this chemical in urine samples have been on the rise from 2017 to 2023, which tells us that consumer exposure is increasing. This is a concern that should not be brushed aside. The companies behind these products, General Mills and PepsiCo, have remained silent in the face of these findings. While they maintain their silence, we must raise our voices and demand accountability. The Environmental Working Group has taken a stand against the use of Chlormaquat on certain grains in the United States. They recommend opting for organic oat products to avoid exposure to this chemical. We should heed this advice and be more discerning about what we put on our tables and into our bodies. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to the food we eat. Stay informed, stay healthy.